I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. Assembling your sports streaming setup for spring baseball, softball, means you may be looking again at which streaming service you're going to use, Game Changer or Sideline HD. The ability to mount a camera and point it at a field has become somewhat pedestrian for most sports streamers. And so the addition of the features that come from one of these services is something we've been looking for. The scoreboard overlays is where it started, but then the ability to have highlight clips, college recruiting tools, all of the extras that come with either of these services is what's going to help us determine which one is going to be a better streaming option for us. Now, recently I put a poll up on the community tab of my YouTube channel. And so far, that poll has been split. I believe when I last checked it, it was 51-49 split almost right down the middle between the two services and what folks plan on using this year. If you'd like to weigh in on that, the poll is still up in the community tab on my YouTube channel. Or better yet, leave your comment here in this video and tell us which streaming option is going to be better for you. When we begin talking about comparing the features of the two services, we look at the different things that they offer. And largely, they're the same. Now, the ability to score is not part of the feature comparison I'm talking about. We're talking about the streaming portion of this completely until the end of the video. There is something about the scoring features for each one that should be considered as we look at the two services. But the streaming features, what that scoreboard is going to offer, what our fans are going to be able to engage with past the game, what it's going to cost us to be able to watch or go back and re-watch a game or pull clips from that game, all things that we need to consider when we offer our fans or our parents or our grandparents the ability to stream those kids' baseball game. Past the scoring overlay, we need to consider what the streaming destination is going to be allowed to be. For Game Changer, it's only going to stream into their app. And so anyone that wants to watch the game is going to need to download their app. It's free for them to watch the game on their app. They just need to know they have to have that app. It's not going to be in one of the traditional uh, streaming destinations that we're used to sending to. For Sideline HD, you can send it to YouTube or you can send it to Facebook. Wherever your audience seems to be for your team's fan base, go ahead and send it there. No problem with Sideline HD. Highlight Clips is going to be something that both of them are pretty good at offering. The ability to pull an at-bat or a defensive play is built right in to Sideline HD and what it actually offers. Not only can you pull it after the game, but any parent that signs up and attaches their phone number to a player in Sideline HD's homepage, your team's homepage, they're going to receive an immediate clip as soon as the at bat or the defensive play is marked over. For Game Changer, they're gonna pull just a section of the game. It's still a highlight, it's still a clip, and they do a great job of sorting those and storing them for college recruiting, but it's not quite the immediate feature that we have or see in Sideline HD. Running sponsor logos over the top of your stream may be something that is valuable to you because you may have sponsors that are, that are supporting the team. If it's a travel ball team and you've got folks that have paid money to help those kids get to their destinations each weekend, they would love to see their sponsor logos come across that stream as the fans are watching back home. Or if you have sponsors that have actually sponsored your stream to help offset the cost of you streaming the game, that may be something that can generate some income for you. And sponsoring those games Letting those logos run across is something that Sideline HD is going to allow. And then I mentioned recruiting tools a moment ago. The ability to pull clips, assemble them into a highlight clip, and get those sent out so that kids can be in front of, can be on the radar of college coaches is something that many parents are looking for. Now, when we begin to talk about a cost comparison, the reason I can't go into great detail about some of the features that we're comparing is because the features cost something on one platform and the other platform has not yet announced any kind of pricing schedule at all. Everything in Sideline HD is still considered free. Now, the, on their website, their pricing schedule, everything is still listed at zero. There's a section here that says always free, and that's going to be the basics of what they offer that anybody can have just from using their service. They have another section that is the pro and another section that is the player, and those will be at some point subscription-based. You'll sign up for them. You'll get these features if you pay your fee. 
But until they do that, I can't really compare the cost between the two platforms, which makes it hard to compare the features between because the features in one that may be free may cost in the other platform. We just don't know yet until Sideline begins to publicize what their fee schedule will be. That being said, Game Changer does have its fee schedule up and you can see what each piece will cost. And they too have a graduated schedule of features that are available. And because their pricing schedule is published, you can see what each of those are here based on their homepage. So doing all this research and trying to find what would be better for you, I've come up with a list of reasons why you should use Game Changer or why you should use Sideline HD. We'll start there. If ease of scoring is something you're after, if the stream itself is more important to you than keeping stats, then Sideline HD is probably the answer for you. Their Sideline score feature puts the, puts the information we most want on the scoreboard overlay and does a great job of making it easy to score. It can all be done on one device. Any device that will run what we have traditionally called multitasking, the iPad calls it Stage Manager, where you can have more than one app open at a time, more than one window on your screen at a time. In Android, it's just always been that way. You could have two, uh, two tabs of, of Chrome open up side by side. You can score through Sideline Score on one tab. You can stream through Multicam on your, if you're using Mevo software on the other tab, and all of a sudden you are able to run the entire stream with one device controlling everything. That doesn't include your cameras, obviously, but the one control device, not having to have a second device to score if you, if you use Sideline Score and, and the Mevo system for streaming. Game Changer is just the same, where you can run the scoring option on one side and the streaming option on the other. The, the two are very similar there. Sideline HD is going to give you instant clips sent to the parents or the cell phone attached to the, to the player as soon as that clip happens. So at bat clips are going to happen as soon as the at bat is over. And the third reason that I would say Sideline HD is a great solution for a lot of streamers is because of the ease of access for your fan base, for parents or grandparents or folks in the community who are used to logging onto Facebook or used to logging onto YouTube and watching something. It's just second nature. They just go to where you're streaming it to. You send your stream to Sideline HD and then they send it on to your destination. You just simply give uh, them access through the software so that it sends it to your Facebook page, the team's Facebook page, or the, the YouTube channel that all of your streams are used to going to. And so they can sign on, they, so they can open up YouTube or Facebook and they can watch that through Sideline HD. Ease of stream of destination is a reason to use Sideline HD. And honestly, for this season, because everything is still listed as free, there's no charge for any of this stuff. They're still in beta for a lot of it. And the beta they are in doesn't scare me. It doesn't worry me that I'm going to be having a stream freeze or I'm going to be having features that quit. Yet they still say it's in beta and they're still not charging for teams to use their service. Reasons why you should use Game Changer over Sideline HD. If you're in a league that all the other teams in that league are using Game Changer, it will be a lot easier for you to find their team and have it populate your scorecard, your lineup card, when you get ready to stream than trying to input every player from the other team. They already exist in that league if they're using Game Changer. If stats are the important part for what you're doing for your team and you want to make sure the stats are kept correctly and all the stats are uh, official, Game Changer has been the stat keeping standard for as long as I can remember since my kids were little and they're in their 20s now. Game Changer has been the standard for keeping stats. And so if that's important to you, Game Changer may be the way you want to go. Streaming for them was added late in the game. They're catching up. Their features are getting better. But Sideline HD was one of those that started out as a streaming service and added the scoring piece because it was necessary. So if scoring, stat keeping, is important to you, if that's the most important thing to you, Game Changer may be the way to go. So what do you think? Where will you be this spring with your baseball or softball team when it comes to streaming services and the destinations that they offer? Game Changer, Sideline HD. Let us know in the comments.